that has any blood relationship with Saul and he's going to get rid of them he was afraid and David said this is not the day of fear and I came to tell you today this is not the time of fear it's the time of jubilee it's a time of celebration and if we're serious about the time of jubilee it's a time of release for everyone and if he said fear not for i will surely show the kindness uh, the, the kindness for jonathan thy father's sake it's not for your sake it's not because mephibosheth had done anything good it's not because mephibosheth was hyper sanctified hyper righteous and up there he said this is not because of you it's because of jonathan and i will restore thee all the land of saul thy father and thou shalt eat bread where at my table continually from the beginning of the year of jubilee for the rest of your life if you know your right and you know what the lord has done for you now you will eat at his table continually and he bowed himself and said what is thy servant that thou shouldest look upon such what a dead dog as i am you feel you are disqualified but god has qualified you you feel that you are not worthy but god has made you worthy a dead dog like me and the lord is saying it's because of jubilee not because you are good not because you are this or that but the blessing is coming upon you because this is the year of release then the king called ziba saw servant and he said unto him i have given unto thy master's son all that pertained unto saul and to all his house and the lord is declaring today he has given you all the blessing yeah. verse 13 so mephibosheth dwelt in jerusalem he changed his accommodation and the king brought him to come and live with him from today you come to live with the lord yeah. for he did eat continually at the king's table eating continually at the king's table eating continually all the days of his life at the king's table am i talking to somebody there who is the person i'm talking to today why don't you rise up the lord has lifted you up your jubilee year has come jubilee celebration has come jubilee blessing has come just tell the lord thank you 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 lord forgiveness redemption salvation joy celebration the beauty of the glory of the lord upon your life say lord i thank you lord i thank you jesus took my place on the cross of calvary jesus became my substitute on the cross of calvary and because it is jubilee year is a year of rest is a year of restoration it's the year of reunion the year of reunion the polite family year of reunion all those who have been sent away bring them back all those who have run away by themselves because the pressure was too much on them they said there's no love they said we don't have any joy be with us here bring them back it's a year of reunion in the deeper life family the year of redemption the year of restoration is a year of relief all bodies gone mountains gone oppression gone all those heart aches gone the year of reckoning and the year of release in Jesus name we pray Jubilee recipients in Jesus name we pray talk to the person by your side and tell them I am free I am blessed I'm going to have all my possessions back. Nothing will hit my progress. My jubilee year has come.
Where are you? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for such a day like this. And we rejoice together because our jubilee time has come in Jesus' name. And all the people are outside the kingdom. All the people have not known the Lord as their personal Savior. Lord, I pray as they raise up their hands, as they surrender unto you, as they give themselves unto you, bring them, Lord, into the jubilee freedom in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins. Erase all their guilt. Take all their condemnations away. Bring them into the family of God in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that those who have been anxious and those who have been oppressed in their lives, that in their hearts, they don't have any, any rest at all. Worry and anxiety. I pray, Lord, this glorious day, marking our jubilee, Lord, I pray, take all the anxiety away. And take all the worry away. And bring your rest into every life in Jesus' name. Lord, you said it would be a year, a year of reunion and return. And I pray that wives who have run away from their husbands, husbands who have run away from their wives, and children who have abandoned their parents, and parents who have abandoned their children, let there be a reunion today in Jesus' name. Lord, you said it's a year of restoration. All that the all the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm and all those messengers of the enemy are taken away from your people from the little pin unto the great sin. Lord, I pray, make a total complete restoration unto everyone here today in Jesus' name. The hells that we have lost, bring the hells back, bring the healing back, bring the relief back. Lord, I pray there will be total restoration for everyone in Jesus' name. This is the year of our redemption. Redeemed from the curse of the Lord. Every curse coming from the forefathers. Every curse coming from the village. Every curse coming from every spirit. Every curse coming from anyone from the jungle. All those curses that the devil and the demons have been kind of putting fire into and then lives have been upside down, fire burning in the body, and bad luck everywhere. This is the year of our redemption. You are redeemed from the curse of the law in Jesus' name. Lord, this is the year of relief. That Lord, any chain binding anyone, any imprisonment, any kind of captivity, and all those people holding you down. You want to run, you cannot run. You want to move, you cannot move. You want to make progress, you cannot make progress. Lord, relieve your people in Jesus' name. All mountains will clear away from your life. All bodies will get away from your life. Lord, it's a day of our reckoning. We're now reckoning that now the year of Jubilee has come and we reckon that the account, the righteousness of Christ is reckoned to everyone. The riches of the kingdom reckoned to everyone. One by one, receive that reckoning. Receive that reckoning. Receive that reckoning. And that abundant life that Jesus Christ paid for on the cross of Calvary, it is reckoned to your account in Jesus' name. Lord, the day of release has now come. The day of release has now come. On this day, marking the year of a jubilee, I pronounce release for everyone. And I release you into joy. I release you into happiness. I release you into riches. I release you into wealth. I release you into abundance. I release you into the fulfillment of every dream of your life. In Jesus' name. Your chains are broken. Your fetters are broken. You are released. Go and succeed. Go and make progress. And move on in the joy of the Lord. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. When we meet again, you will have a testimony to give. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus' name we pray.